going to look at a question that is often asked and in actual fact it's not a proper question as you will see but the question is simple why is water wet well firstly let's look at water h2o probably the most famous chemical formula there is what does it mean well it means that it's a molecule containing one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms in a chemical drawing there's a convention that oxygen atoms are always red and hydrogen are always white now the atoms aren't arranged in a straight line instead they sit in a v-shape and this is because oxygen has two points for bonding the other two are hidden points for itself greedy little oxygen atoms now all atoms have a nucleus at the center containing a neutron neutral charge and a proton which is positively charged and whizzing around them are a cloud of electrons which are negatively charged oxygen is a hungry little atom it has more electrons than hydrogen and it loves to pull the electrons of its neighbors towards it its greed makes it very negative hydrogen can't resist this pull so when it's attached to oxygen it loses a bit of its hold on its own negative electrons so it ends up a little bit more positive than if it were just sitting on its own in water this means that the point of the V the oxygen is more negative than the tips where the hydrogen sits the tips being a little more positive now positive and negative attract each other so when you put two water molecules together the hydrogens are attracted to the oxygens add another water molecule and another and quickly you get a three-dimensional network of H2O the strong attraction between the water molecules gives it properties that are unusual it makes the water sticky on a chemical level water sticks to itself so well that it's a liquid over a large range of temperatures enough for it to practically cover the planet earth and enable life and even when it's cold it freezes from the top down the network of interaction between the molecules becomes frozen in the configuration that ice is therefore less dense than water and so it floats on the water and gives it an insulating blanket which helps keep the rest a liquid this is why ponds and seas don't freeze in winter only the surface does and this stickiness gives water other odd properties it allows water to form beautiful little spherical baubles such as those you find of a droplet of water on a leaf in the morning it lets water creep up the inside of an arrow tube or up the fibers of a paintbrush against gravity and you find little insects like pond skaters can walk on the top of a calm pool of water without piercing it because the water molecules stick together so well that what we call surface tension is very very strong so let's get back to the original question is water wet well it seems like a simple question but it isn't wetness is a property or a description of how we experience it if something's wet does that mean it's interacting with water well recent studies have estimated you need six molecules of water for it to start to behave like a liquid so we could say you need six water molecules before water becomes wet if you drop water on your skin the molecules stick to it and you become wet if you spill water on a shirt the fabric molecules in the shirt draw the water into it and the shirt becomes wet the positives and negatives within the water molecules are attracted to the positives and negatives in the molecules of your hand or your t-shirt that's why they get wet so why is water wet well we've seen the structure of h2o is polar water molecules attract other water molecules to form a network and being polar means it sticks to other things too especially things that are also polar like fabric and paper even if it doesn't stick well to a surface it will cover the surface in droplets and wetness refers to the ability of water to stick to itself or something else so why is water wet because it's sticky i hope you enjoyed that little slightly light-hearted but 
serious look at why water is wet. Because it isn't really. It's just how we perceive the water that makes it wet. Take care. See you next time.